राजू पुष्पा प्रॉपर्टीज प्रेजेंट्स रियल एस्टेट गुरु Hello, good morning. Welcome to your favorite reality market trend show, Raja Pushpa Properties Real Estate Guru, powered by Vasavi Group. Hyderabad is one of those cities that is luxurious yet affordable. It houses a mix of crowds, including IT professionals, businessmen, film stars, and more. It has now become the most sought-after place to live in. Maybe that is why there is a huge demand and rise in gated communities and skyscrapers in Hyderabad. In today's episode, we will discuss a few gated communities that has come up in Hyderabad, issues faced by some of the gated communities, and more. Many people wish to live in gated communities for all the amenities it provides. However, new problems are now emerging in a few gated communities. Some issues are due to builders, and other problems are because of home buyers. Here are the details of such issues. New problems are emerging in few Hyderabad gated communities. There is a strange situation in the Hyderabad construction sector. Several builders are not completing the flats, causing much agony to buyers who have invested their hard-earned money. Builders who are fighting against all odds, corona pandemic and rising construction costs among others to complete the projects are facing problems from some troublemakers. Some buyers are intentionally causing trouble and creating ruckus over one facility or other, following which both developers and fellow residents are suffering. Further, they have divided into two, three groups and indulging in squabbles in some more communities. Messy community at Miyapur. A builder developed a large gated community in Huda Mayuri Nagar layout in Miyapur. where land prices are higher than madhapur before the advent of high tech city soon after the project was started a few years ago the then government announced that asia's largest bus terminal would be developed within a short distance from this project site thus the builder promised to construct multiplex and hospital within the gated community but the then government shelved the bus terminal project and with the bad market conditions the builder could not immediately take up multiplex and hospital however some residents have hung flexi banners against the builder in their balconies as a result the gated community had drawn a negative attention following which there was a temporary setback in sale of flats the trouble making buyers foolish act led to a drop in the value of flats prospective buyers did not come forward to purchase flats put up for the second sale a sensible residents welfare association should learn lessons from such issues and hold discussions with the builder to resolve the issue construction in phased manner the construction of integrated townships or gated communities is undertaken on a large scale generally they are developed in 50 or 100 acres in a phased manner it is a common knowledge that it will take some time to complete the phase wise work in such projects hence the residents of all phases should understand the difficulties in completing such massive projects just because villas are built in the first phase it is not right to insist for construction of only villas in the last phase as well one should not cause trouble to the developers who undertakes construction works depending on the market condition chaos in rwa committee a new gated community in erragadda has been registered under the cooperative society but soon after the new rwa committee was formed a conflict started among its members the struggle for supremacy started between the two factions in such cases all the elders of the respective community should sit down to discuss and focus on solving these differences and prevailing problems rather than fighting among themselves things to do some builders have good reputation in the market residents welfare associations should act judiciously so as not to tarnish it 
problems should be resolved across the table. Writing negative reviews on the internet is of no use. Similarly, if some people write online reviews about problems in a community, the demand for properties in such gated community drops, while those who spread the false propaganda move out from such a community. A large percentage of residents who are permanent residents will suffer the consequences. As a result, it could take around 10 years to address the issues and become a good community. So if buyers frantically write online reviews and spread rubbish on WhatsApp, the reputation of the respective communities will suffer. We have already informed you about the scam that Bhumanteja Infra has committed. Poor public who believed in them are still going from post to pillar for justice. They are visiting Panjagutta every day in group seeking some kind of settlement in the matter. More details about the projects that Bhuvanteja Infra sold properties in to 300 buyers who bought flats in six projects are coming in groups to the Bhuvaneteja Infra office at Panjagutta and clamoring for return of their money. This situation has become a routine affair now. Some of them have been running around the company MD Chakka Venkata Subramaniam for about a year but has become an expert in sending away those who come for money by either giving some excuse or making them sit for hours together. However, some buyers who got tired of his excuses have decided to settle the matter and are creating a ruckus at the company office. While working at Parijata Developers some years ago, Chakka Venkata Subramaniam used to travel by an Actua scooter. But ever since he became an expert in duping people in the name of pre-launch sales and collecting money from them, he got into the habit of buying luxury cars and staying in the luxury hotels. The victims are alleging that the money belongs to innocent people, using which he has been leading a luxurious life. Ironically, the agents who sold plots and flats in Bhuvanateja Infra's projects also got themselves in troubled waters. According to information received by real estate guru, this Bhuvanateja Infra company has sold properties in around 10 projects in pre-launch sales in Hyderabad alone. Happy Homes Apartments, Shamir paid. Happy Homes 2 Villas Shamir paid. Bhuvanateja Aura 1 Vilimala. Bhuvanateja Aura 2 Vilimala. Bhuvanateja Bloomdale Merchill. Green Valley Kapra. Golden Nest Isnapur. Happy Homes Kattal. EVK's Residence Kollur. In addition to this, Chakka Venkata Subramanyam has stationed himself at the projects belonging to Tulasi Bhagyanagar and other companies, claiming them to be his own projects and selling those flats in freelance sales. It is astonishing to see how Tulasi Bhagyanagar MD Buddu Ashok ignored Chakka Venkata Subramanyam, who has been openly claiming that the project belongs to him. The victims complained that crores of rupees collected from them in pre-launches were diverted for other purposes. The buyers are alleging that though they bought flats in 2020, they have not been completed so far and hence were forced to demand for return of their money. Buyers are now tormented as to whether Chakka Venkata Subramaniam diverted funds collected by Tulasi Bhagyanagar to buy lands elsewhere, other businesses or used it to invest in a city like Dubai. Notwithstanding what he did with the money collected from them, they want him to return it immediately. Let's take a short break in Raja Pushpa Properties Real Estate Guru, powered by Vasavi Group. A mark to Hallmark.
ultimate luxurious space. An Empressa for a blissful life. Inside Entertainment. Crest for the best. Hallmark Imperia at Osmanagar, Gopanapalli, Hyderabad. Hallmark Intracon. Signature of quality. Hey Raj, are you searching for flats? Where are you going? Yeah, I'm going to look. But in decision making, there is a little confusion. It's a futuristic location. You can try to try it. Recently, you have a flat in Palomi Avante. You have to go to the office, you have to go to the airport. It's easy. Good choice. Just think about it. Palomi Avante. Elegant Homes at Coca Pate, Hyderabad. Drive by the forest. Lush greens, blue skies, a home in between. A beautiful life begins here. Giridhari Prospera County. At Kismatpur, redefining luxury. <laughs> hey, uh, huh? I'm in Vellali. I'm going to get a new flat, so I'm going to get a new flat. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Paolami Estates. They have 22 floors, high-rise apartments. Mm. They have amenities that are lavish. Oh. Terrace swimming pool, indoor games, outdoor games. One of them. So many specialities. No good a thing chaya chuga. It's the best choice. Okay. Paolomi Avante. Elegant homes at Coca Pate, Hyderabad. Welcome back to Raja Pushpa Properties Real Estate Guru. Powered by Vasavi Group. No buyers for G Square plots. LV Nagar has become a hot spot for techies, businessmen, and others. Any plot in LB Nagar will be sold like a hot cake. Strangely, G-square plots are not attracting any buyers. Maybe that's what is promoting the developer to offer 25 to 50 grams of gold to its buyers. You heard it right. Further details in the video. No buyers for G-square plots. Many people came forward enthusiastically to buy a decent plot anywhere in the city, as everyone wants to build their own house in the city. Moreover, none would shy away from a plot near LB Nagar. If one finds out that a plot is available, they would show interest in buying it or at least visit and check it out. But what prompted a developer in Hyderabad to offer 25 to 50 grams of gold for purchase of a plot in their venture. It is unknown whether the demand for real estate in Hyderabad has declined or people are not interested in buying in that particular venture. In BN Reddy Nagar, which is just 5 minutes from LB Nagar, a company called G Square has launched Eden Garden Tapovan, a venture of 484 premium plots spread over 65 acres. In this RERA approved venture, more than 1,000 world-class facilities are being provided. There are more than 40 sports facilities and a clubhouse spread over 40,000 square feet. So, what prompted the developers to offer 50 grams of gold to buyers on purchase of a plot in this venture which has numerous features? The G-Square company, which launched this venture a few months ago, impressed the city residents with its massive campaign. Several buyers are reluctant to buy plots in the venture following news reports about irregularities in the venture. 
it is now discovered that the same company is developing a venture called Epitome in Chautupal, which is now riddled in multiple controversies. Ever since, the company is offering 25 grams gold for those who purchase plots in this venture. The company has been advertising that plans are afoot to develop this venture on 1242 acres. However, some realtors are learned to have paid crores of rupees in advances to the company to purchase land in these 1242 acres. As a result, they are questioning the company management for not handing over their land despite paying advance amount and instead allotting land to G-Square company. The owner of this land is yet to respond to these allegations. Are you keen to live in central Hyderabad? Then one Hyderabad is for you. They developed a brand new and a luxurious gated community right next to Iramanzil metro station. The project also has a great day of space that is rent guaranteed. It has many luxurious amenities too. Continue watching the video to know further details. Are you keen to live in central Hyderabad? Do you prefer living in a premium community with 5-star luxury amenities rather than standalone apartments and buildings with no modern amenities? If yes, then for people like you, a brand new skyscraper has come up on Somaji Guda Main Road, offering high-end community living. If you are willing to book the flat of your choice immediately, it will be handed over in three months, enabling you to complete the interior work and move into your dream home. Interestingly, just two steps away from your home, you can step into a great A office space within the premises. There is no bigger project than this one in Hyderabad, which has become a metro cosmopolitan city. Located on the main road of Somaji Guda, next to Irram Manzil metro station, One Hyderabad is a state-of-the-art new skyscraper for those who want a 5-star rated lifestyle featuring walk-to-work concept. Spread over a sprawling area of about 4.5 acres, the project comprises 3 acres of high-end residential spaces and 1.5 acres of Grade A office complex. For the first time, twin towers are being built with a 24-storey height in this project located in the core city of Hyderabad. There are only two flats per floor, with each flat spread across, with each flat spread over around 5,000 square feet. The third tower C block is being constructed with G plus 6 floors having only 6 flats in each floor with an area of 3,000 plus square feet. Rent guaranteed for 5 years, Pranava Group has introduced a special offer in the Grade A office complex in its one Hyderabad project which will be handed over in three months. People who purchase an office space of 1200 square feet are guaranteed a monthly rent of Rs 60 per square feet for about five years. The presence of one Hyderabad in a strategic location is ideal for corporate offices, which makes it a hot property for rental. Many companies in Hyderabad are now announcing rent guarantee offers but most of them are either in city suburbs where attracting good rentals is a challenge or the projects are in early stages of construction. But one Hyderabad will be completed in three months. Let's take a short break in Rajapushpa Properties Real Estate Guru, powered by Vasavi Group. A mark to hallmark.
living integrated with outdoors. Ultimate luxurious space. An empresa for a blissful life. Inside entertainment. Crest for the best. Hallmark Imperia at Osmanagar, Gopanapalli, Hyderabad. Hallmark Intracon. Signature of quality. Hey Raj, are you searching for fraud? Where are you going? Yeah, I'm looking for a little bit of confusion in the decision making. It's a futuristic location. Go to Peta or try it. Recently, follow me on the phone. I'm going to fraud you. I'm going to go to the office. Airport is easy to get. Good choice. Just think about it. Paolo Miyavante. Elegant Homes at Coca Pet, Hyderabad. Drive by the forest. Lush greens, blue skies. A home in between. A beautiful life begins here. Giridhari Prospera County at Kismatpur, redefining luxury. <laughs> hey, uh, huh? I'm Vellali. We have a new flat, so I'm going to take a look at it. Where are you? Paolami Estates. They have 22 floors, high-rise apartments. Amenities are very lavish. Oh. Terrace swimming pool, indoor games, outdoor games. Okay, tea. So many specialities. No good thing, Chayachuga. It's the best choice. Okay. Paolo Miyavante. Elegant Homes at Coca Pet, Hyderabad. Welcome back to Raja Pushpa Properties Real Estate Guru, powered by Vasavi Group. Real Estate Guru viewers, a bonus awaits for you. Here is the most interesting and trending story of Hyderabad reality market. Stunning skyscrapers in Hyderabad. After Mumbai, Hyderabad is the only city in India that offers luxury skyscraper flats to billionaires. These skyward structures are being constructed in areas like Rai Durgam, Financial District, Nanakram Guda, Koka Pet, Narsinghi and surrounding areas. The height of these skyscrapers range from a remarkable 32 floors to a maximum of 57 floors. If all goes well, all these projects are likely to be completed by 2028. Here are the details of some of the many skyscrapers being built in the city. A company named SAS Crown is constructing a 57-storey skyscraper on 4.5 acres in Kokapet. The total number of flats in this is around 237. The flat sizes range from 6,564 SFT to 8811 SFT. The company is planning to complete the construction in 2027. Leading construction company Paolomi Estates is constructing a 55-story project called Paolomi Palazzo in Coca Pet on about 2.3 acres are being constructed with the flat sizes ranging between 6225 SFT to 8100 SFT. Paolomi is ramping up the construction work 
to complete the project by 2026. SAS Infra is building 418 flats in Nanakram Guda on about 6 acres titled SAS Downtown. The height of this project is 54 floors with flat area of 2,175 square feet to 4,025 square feet. The company says that this RERA approved project will be completed by 2026. Bengaluru-based Candir has launched a 50-story skyscraper, Candor Crescent, on 5.5 acres in Serlingampalli. The project has total 1,230 flats with an area of 1,601 square feet to 2,656 square feet. The company is expected to hand over flats by December 2025. My Home Group a company which specializes in skyscrapers is constructing a 45-story project called My Home Nishada in Kokapet. A total 1,398 flats are being built in about 16.68 acres. The area of the flats ranges from 3,534 SFT to 4,617 SFT. It is reported that the company is planning to complete this project by June 2026. The project Ragava HRI Capital 45 is being jointly undertaken by Ragava and Hallmark Constructions at Nanakram Guda. Only 90 flats will come up in this project taken up on 1.9 acres. The project with a height of 45 floors is likely to be completed in 2027. Ragava Group is also constructing a 45-story project called Ragava Iris in Raidurg on 7.38 acres. The number of flats in this skyscraper is 520. Each flat is built in an area of 5,425 SFT to 6,600 SFT. The project will be delivered by 2028. DSR, a quality construction company, has launched a new 45-story project called DSR Skymark on 3.6 acres in Nanakram Guda. The total number of flats will be around 328. The company will hand over the structure in 2028. DSR has also launched a 45-story Twin Towers project which will have probably India's largest sized flats in Hyderabad. Being constructed on 3 acres in Nanakram Guda, each flat will be spread over an area of approximately 15,999 square feet. Yes, you saw it right. The total number of flats is only 85, that is, just 2 flats per floor. Alekya, a company that undertakes constructions to blend in with nature, has launched a 32-story project called Alekya Rise in Kokapet. A total 512 flats are being constructed in about 7.68 acres with flat sizes between 3,500 SFT to 6,200 SFT. The HMDA and RERA approved skyscraper is expected to be completed in 2028. enjoyed watching a Rajapushpa Properties Real Estate Guru powered by Vasavi Group. I will see you again next week with some more interesting updates in the real estate market in Hyderabad. Until then, this is Ramya signing off.